Hey there! Today, let's dive into how nitrogen oxide supplements can help improve erectile dysfunction. Now, I know it sounds a bit technical but stick with me, it'll make sense in no time. First off, let's talk about two key players, arginine and citrulline. Arginine acts as a substrate for nitrogen oxide synthetic enzymes. Basically, arginine supplements directly boost the production of nitrogen oxide. Citrulline, on the other hand, gets converted into arginine in the body, helping with nitrogen oxide synthesis. Studies have shown that arginine supplements can significantly improve erectile function. In one study, patients who took arginine every day saw a notable improvement in their condition. In another, using both arginine and nitrogen oxide producers led to even better results. Citrulline is just as effective. One clinical study found that patients who took citrulline supplements for four weeks had significant improvements. Plus, citrulline tends to have fewer side effects compared to arginine. Now let's chat about some medicines. PDE5 inhibitors like sildenafil, tadalafil, and vardenafil also promote nitrogen oxide. These drugs help by increasing blood flow, making them a go-to treatment for erectile dysfunction. Recent studies suggest that combining PDE5 inhibitors with arginine and citrulline yields the best result. But hold on, there are some precautions. Arginine might cause issues for those with cardiovascular diseases. Citrulline can lead to bloating and headaches in high doses. And PDE5 inhibitors aren't suitable for everyone, especially if you have certain health conditions. Always consult your doctor before starting any new supplement or medication. In summary, arginine, citrulline, and PDE5 inhibitors can be effective in treating erectile dysfunction by boosting nitrogen oxide production. But remember there are potential side effects, so it's crucial to use them under professional guidance. So, if you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, these supplements and medicines might be worth considering. Always talk to your healthcare provider to find the best approach for you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more health tips. Catch you next time.